Hey guys, this is Chloe. I'm just making this video because something amazing happened to me at half past three this morning. Patty Millett done an interview with a guy named John and she spoke about her book, Nowhere But Up, Teen Edition. If you haven't got it, go get it. Um, and we were able to ask her questions and some of them would be answered live and I asked her a question and it was the first question she answered and oh my goodness I was crying I was weeping I still can't believe it I mean Patty Millette my inspiration answered one of my questions that I've always wanted to ask um, I'm gonna play you a li the little snippet of um, my question being asked and her answer and um, then I'm gonna post the link in the description so you can listen to the whole thing um, Patty Millette is just an amazing woman she is so inspirational and she is like a second mum to me and she it shows if you've read her book, um, you can see the pain and everything that she went through. But you can see that she's still come out on top. And she says that you don't have to stay in that dark place. And um, I hope that her story stays around for many, many more years. And I hope that it continues to change your life. So yeah, here's the um, my question being asked and Patty's answer. The kindness that you're going to have down, you see a little kid fall down, you don't point your finger. Another glorious Facebook question. This one. We're going to school, I'm doing drugs and drink ed, pregnant teenager. Call and you're not a kid, but you're an adult and you, you're not perfect. Uh, neither are, are either of us, but you've been through some stuff, you've learned some lessons. Uh, you know, we would ask you, would you go be a John Brown for some other kid? Would you find that kid in your community that's maybe a little bit like Patty or a little bit like me? And would you invest in them? Because as, you'll, as you've heard and as you'll hear through Patty's story, you know, every kid is one caring adult away from really breaking through and succeeding. Now, we have uh, we had quite a few folks submit questions when they signed up for the interview, and uh, I want to ask you a few of those. This first one comes from Chloe on Facebook, and here's what Chloe says. says, Patty, first I have to say you are the most amazing woman, and I look up to you so much. You give me hope to get through what I'm going through. Uh, Chloe says, I started to go to church, but I fell away, and now I feel ashamed to go back because I'm sort of struggling. Her question is, what made you go back to church and hold on to your faith? I completely understand that shame and not wanting to go back. I remember being an unwed, pregnant teenager after I had just committed six months earlier. I had committed my life. To, to, to God and to seeking Him and learning what life was all about. And not six months later, I'm, I'm pregnant and unwed. How am I supposed to go back into the church full of shame? And I, I decided, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach out and look for help because I can't do it alone. And to my pleasant surprise, they welcomed me with open arms. And not everyone will, but, you know, the ones that are, are you know, True loving human beings are gonna are gonna welcome you with open arms, and they just said to me, you know, when you fall down, you just gotta get up and keep walking. You know, when you're when you have a baby and or you're a baby and you fall down, you see a little kid fall down, you don't point your finger at them and yell at them. You just help them up and you tell them to keep going. And um, I think that that it's it's really important to go with your pain and with your shame. If we're talking about uh, faith and we're talking about God, just to, to go to him, he's not surprised. He knows. He knows everything. And so I just would encourage you to go to him and say, you know, I feel ashamed. I don't know how 
I don't know how to deal with this. And he's, he's, he's going to be there for you. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think sometimes those, those lies in our mind are actually, you know, the very thing trying to defeat us of going to places and seeking out people that we need to surround ourselves with when we're struggling. So, you know, if you're listening and saying, oh, I'm not good enough or I can't go there or I can't, go try to find a mentor because, you know, I'm not perfect. That's uh, neither are any of us. And don't don't let that stop you from reaching out, getting help, because that could truly be the thing that turns your life around. We have a and another. Love, and, yeah, go ahead. And I was going to say, I love the messy parts of yourself. And it's okay that you're not perfect. Like I said, those are the, that are the hardest to love need it the most, and sometimes that's ourselves. And that's it, she answered my question, and she basically said that she understands the shame of um, not being able, or of be, of falling away from church and not being able to go back, and sh she's just an amazing woman. Um, if you haven't got her book, go and get it, nowhere but up, um, and if you're going through a tough time, right now just reach out and find somebody to talk to whether it's a friend or a counsellor or somebody at school or j just somebody that you trust and that you can talk to don't give it bottled up and always always remember that you're worth something and you're beautiful don't ever let anybody tell you any different Thank you for watching. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at, at little underscore Rafferty. Um, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Chloe Rafferty. Um, and yeah, peace out.